last half of the seventh here. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Jason Hayward. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Pulled toward right center field. On the move is Joyce. He's there and records the first down. A center fielder, number five, Albert. And now here's the versatile outfielder, Albert Almora Jr. First pitch coming, here it is. One out. The one out. -oh. Is swung on and missed in that strike one. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's velo is still top notch. This guy's a horse. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Pops this one up. Aguilar is calling for it. Two gone. The batter. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball. 1-0. and Fouled away. Now the one and one pitch. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. And he is in the second with a two out double. When you're struggling as a team to put the ball in play, every base hit is welcome, but a double will really help wake everyone up. That's just their third hit of the game, but it's a good one. Steven Souza will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 21. Steven Souza Jr. Fouled off. Two out here and a runner at second. Down and away, ball one. Two and one now to Steven Souza. Watching him on the mound right now, I think he's just having trouble throwing strikes to this guy. Up only two runs, I don't think he's working around him. The 2 1 doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he lays off ball four, so he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Now batting, left fielder. Now the Marlin skipper is up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he'll leave with the lead. Can't lose this one, but he is responsible for the two runners out there. So he could get a no decision if they were to come around and score. Sterling Sharp trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. So the lineup flips over and digging in Kyle Schwarber. And Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Cubs strand a couple.
Still down by a count of four to two. Trevor McGill has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Into the box, Brian Anderson, one for two with a double on his line thus far. There's a good breaking ball as he gets the bottom of the zone. Where this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. And that misses for ball one. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Pitch on the way. Two balls, one strike. Sky down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. All even at two and two. Here it is. And that one got a piece of him. Standing in, Matt Joyce. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. No balls and a strike to count. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Schwarber is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. The right fielder, number five, John Birdie. Ready now for the Marlins. John Birdie. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Strike one to start the at bat. Getting late 4 2 our score as we play the eighth inning. And here's a ball hit in the air. On the move is Hayward, but this will land untouched. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. I got the depth one and two. And that misses two and two. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that was strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Alfaro blows through the stop sign, headed for home. And he's safe at the plate as they extend their lead to three. Hey, d -Roll, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt as an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. The average not quite where he wants it, down in the 220s. Four home runs, nine driven in. Here comes the 0-1. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Two outs here with a runner at third. Up in the zone for him, and he takes a called strike two. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Outside in a full count, three and two. And it's fouled away. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. This is well struck. High and deep toward the left field corner. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. Well, that makes it a four-run deficit, so you might have to start wondering if this is too much for them to come back. They've only been able to scratch across two runs the entire game so far, so coming up with four more in this one might be too tall of an order. 
Brad Wick enters the ball game out of the pen looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Jonathan VR is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. High in the air out to center field. Almora in pursuit. He gets there to make the catch and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on two hits. Yimmy Garcia is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that will bring up Chris Bryant. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long hit high and deep out to left center field. Dickerson going back at the track. That's in the basket, a home run. Chris Bryant leaves the yard with a solo shot. 19th home run for him on the season. And with that, it's now a 6-3 ball game. Now at the plate, Anthony Rizzo. He homered back in the third inning in this one. Anthony Rizzo. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And that misses ball one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Pace is empty here with nobody out. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. In the dirt, it's three and zero oh now. And now pitch on the way, skied into straightaway right. Long run for the right fielder. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Off. Here's Javier Baez. Fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt, but you just have to let that get out of the way as best you can. You have to approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. First offering on its way. Strike taken up in the zone. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there. Going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. Here's the 0-1 pitch. And that fastball's taken but catches the outer third. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0-2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. And on 0-2 he misses with a fastball. Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. Not being very aggressive right now. Into the corner and slicing foul. Bases are empty. One man out. Sent on the ground out to second. And that is into right field. A base hit. Cutting it close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he was staring at his last at bat right there. Probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him another A.B. in this one, but he's able to get it done. Hey, better late than never. And I'm sure when he walked into that batter's box right there, he's thinking this very well could be my... And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Back with more here on... Craig Kimbrell enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. So stepping in, Miguel Rojas. First pitch on its way. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. And this one's too far inside ball two. You know, something to keep in mind, 
they're really burning through that bullpen and this is only the first game of the series definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series and maybe even the whole week ahead now the 2-0 a swing and a miss strike one on a good pitch there had him stretching to get out there and it's two and two now Ugh, is that ugly you could probably throw anything out there to this guy he'd swing at the Raza bag if you throw it up there this is popped up Rizzo has room in foul territory one down now back digging in Corey Dickerson it was a single for him in his last at bat four one Pulled toward right center field. On the run is Almora. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now batter, the first baseman, Jesus Aguilar. Jesus Aguilar will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, we take you back to inning number six. This was his second home run of the ball game as he'll stand in here looking for number three. First pitch coming here it is now an off speed pitch well inside and it forces him to bounce away from danger that was a change up so there really wasn't any intent behind it looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit that'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight change up and they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses it's two and one ball three the three one and a fastball misses their ball four. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that will bring up the outfielder Brian Anderson. He's set and the pitch. And he takes ball one. Downstairs two balls and no strikes. If you've been paying attention. The guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. Three and oh. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Here comes the first pitch. Jorge Alfaro is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. 0 oh, 1 count. Here's the pitch. 1 and 1. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to 1 and 2 now. Two men are on with two men out. In the dirt. Throw to third. And oh, they say he beat the throw safe at third. Well, he's just lost complete control of the baseball in this inning. Two walks and now a wild pitch. You know he's talking to himself in his head. And I can't imagine he's saying any real nice things either. Two and two. Here it is. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And the run is in to score from second. It's an 8-3 to three ball game. And he is in at third with a two-run triple. Man, he's wishing right now this game could go on forever, or at least until he can get up again, because otherwise that is probably his last at-bat of the game, leaving him one leg shy of hitting for the cycle. Regardless, he's had an incredible game. Tyler Chatwood takes over now with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. Stepping in now, Matt Joyce. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Men on third with two down. And he fouls this one off. 
And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. So it's two runs on one hit, no errors, and one man left on. Sixth, seventh, and eighth place hitters scheduled to start the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Marlins eight and the Cubbies three. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Adam Conley is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Francisco Cervelli will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number 29. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Jason Hayward. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. And a pitch in the one dirt one. as he lays off. It's one and one. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. And it's one and two. One ball, two strikes, count. Now the pitch. Ball two. Pass ball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. So here's Albert Almora next. His career numbers with Adam Conley. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. First pitch of the at bat. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Conley playing here in his age 29 season. This is his sixth season for him in the big leagues. The 1 0. Swing and a line drive. Throw on to first gets him, and that means the Cubs are down to their final out now. Now back, second baseman, Daniel Descalzo. Digging in now, Daniel Descalzo, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. First pitch of the at bat on its way. At the ball. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east west than to have you call that high fastball. The 1 0 home. Ball in. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher. Just go ahead and challenge him. Outside, that's the ball. And a good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3-0. and oh. Ruled a strike on the outside corner. 3-1. and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. The Cubs are down to their final strike here. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. 8-3 tonight. The Miami Marlins took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Hal Newhauser takes the win on the mound his second of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.